come to Kento when my spirits rise. With love and passion, we learn side by side. We work together, our hearts run free. I can tell word riding academy. Oh, Patricia, what did I tell you about stressing Sovereign out? Uh, look, I didn't mean to, okay? I was just taking Rebel into the barn and she got stressed. So don't separate them. Rebel is gilded now, so he's fine to be in the pasture with her. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna tie up Sovereign. I wanna go ride Galaxy. Millie, what did I tell you about bringing Piddles? Oh, come on. You gotta show some compassion, Hannah. He was feeling lonely, so I thought I'd bring him so he can hang out with Junebug and Cowboy. Oh my goodness, you could basically consider that cat blind. He just walked right into that hay bale. And besides, he'd make a lot of chaos here, okay? We don't need that, especially since... Ms. Lauren and Patricia are already stressed with Sovereign being pregnant and everything, so you can't have a naughty little cat running around. He's not naughty, okay? I'll keep an eye on him and... That didn't sound good. Millie, I know you brought Piddles because you're feeling bored lately, and I accept that, but I just don't think it's a very good idea, okay? He's very chaotic. Well, maybe if I had a horse of my own, then I wouldn't be so bored all the time. Ugh, sisters. She's just feeling upset, okay? And besides, bringing Piddles wasn't such a bad idea. <coughs> well, I mean, we can fix whatever he ruins, right? Well, it really depends on what he ruins. Like, like putting the hay everywhere. But you know what? That's fine. We can just rake it up. I swear that cat is out of his mind. Ugh, I don't know whether he's a cat, a bull, or a goat. Ugh, he's so difficult. Well, he's cute and difficult. <sighs> Millie looks pretty upset. Maybe I should talk to her. Uh, it's fine, Hazel. She'll get over it. Come on, let's just get our horses and groom them. They've just been out in the pasture in the mud. So, yeah, they're probably pretty dirty. <sighs> What's up with you? Ah! Oh. It's just you. <laughs> Relax. I'm serious. What has gotten into you? You seem all mopey all of a sudden. <sighs> I just, I wish I had a horse of my own. It'd be really nice. Cause, you know, I just, I love horses, I guess. And it'd be nice. I wouldn't be so bored all the time. Not that I'm like overly bored like I was before I started riding here, but I'm just saying. Well, why don't you just buy Peppy from Lauren? I'm sure she wouldn't mind. Yeah, but I don't feel like Peppy's my heart horse. She's, she's nice. She's really nice, but she's old and she's slow and she's different. I just, I just don't feel like she's the one that I'd want to keep for my own. What do you mean? You've been so obsessed with her. I know. Peppy was my heart horse for a while, but I started realizing the downsides of me owning her. And... Uh, I just... I don't know when my heart horse is going to come around. <sighs> Look, I'm not one for fancy quotes, but... All I gotta say is, the right horse will come at the right time. Well, for someone whose parents buy her a horse whenever she wants... I think that was pretty good. Hey, rude. It may be rude, but it's true. Ugh, so, so rude. No, no, shrewd. Ugh, <laughs> come on, Galaxy. Let's go for this ride. Oh, Millie's birthday is coming up so soon. I know, I can't figure out something to get her. Ooh, does she like reading? Maybe you should get her some books. Oh, you should totally get her, like, the ponytails or something. Uh, yeah, that's a great idea. Oh, or maybe you should get her some board games or some craft. She'd love that. She's a very crafty person. <sighs> Thanks, guys. They're all great ideas, but I don't know. 
I don't, I, it's our 10th and I want to make her feel really special. Even though we've had a bit of struggle lately with her not being able to have a horse and everything. Well then, the solution is simple. Get her a horse. <sighs> Ellie, you're right. I'm getting Millie a pony. 